I've watched this about four, five, six times, specifically the Scorpion um, Sub Zero part. And guys, let's let's keep it real. This film is about Scorpion and Sub Sub Zero. Everyone else is a sideshow. No one is coming in for freaking um, well, Lokang Zero, but no one is coming in for Lokang. No one is coming in for freaking Jax. No one is coming in for for Sonya Blade. Who gives a damn about freaking Kano? We're only here because of Scorpion and Sub Zero, two of the coolest characters i think in video game history like ev from the from the moment that we saw these guys on freaking was this was this nest or omega drive it was like no no the, just the imagination and the creativity of these characters in terms of their characterization their powers what they look like it's like they're the most iconic char characters so here's the thing because see, you have to do your research. You have to do your research. Because, sorry, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a film merchant, so I cover all the bases. Because I was like... Because for me, there's one thing about okay, what the film will be like. But I said, okay, who is, who is directing it? So I checked, checked it out. This film is being directed by a first-time director. And when I mean first-time, I mean this is his first feature-length film. I think the only thing he did was a short film. This is his first-ever film. Now... You can maybe say that, hey, who knows? Maybe he sometimes, you know, I and mean, what's also called like you look at the Darren Aronofsky, Pi was his very first film. Flipping stunning film, amazing film, incredible film. Um, I think Nolan his first film was like the following quality, quality film. So it can happen, but for a and this is just where you just say that guys, this is such a iconic franchise that has so many fans that is so popular. Wouldn't it make sense to put it in the hands of someone better? My God, and it, it just came, came to me. I've forgotten the, the, the name of the dude. Um, Because I think it's where the Tassim guy is from. Oh my gosh, why have I forgotten the name of this film? Oh no, don't do this to me. It is basically... Okay, I'm going to find out because it is the film in which um they are in a building. Oh, why have I forgotten the name of this film? Because it's a Welsh it's a Welsh director. Oh gosh, wait. Um it's Chino Mike Shinoda. Oh, oh no oh my gosh, I've I have to Oh gosh. because oh, it's it's a sound The Raid. Thank you, the Raid. The Raid. I have, I have to remember. The director of the Raid. I believe he's a Welsh guy. That would make perfect sense. Because you know that the fights are going to be on point. And you know that just because of the way he thinks, he will know about the design. Let's talk about the design. Because I told you guys, this is all about Scorpion and Sub-Zero. No one cares about the other, the other characters. It's about Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I think Sub-Zero looks to be like he's going to be the guy. Scorpion, that the Japanese actor who was in Last Samurai, very good actor. Very good actor, quality actor. But here's the thing about Scorpion, specifically Scorpion. We don't need to know about his background. We don't need to know about his upbringing. We don't need you to humanize him. We don't need to, 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 to not feel empty. So, oh, let's get behind the emotions of Scorpion. Why was Scorpion so amazing? Because he's mysterious. We don't know much about him. And that makes him scarier. That makes him more threatening. The less you know about something, an entity, the scarier it is. Jaws. We don't know about, you know, the background of um, that shark, who the shark was when he was growing up, who he went to him, to him school, school with, like the shark's family, his wife, his, his kids. No, it's just a shark that just says, what's up? Freaking the Joker in Dark Knight. He, we don't even know where, where he's origin from. So the less we know about a character, the more mysterious he is, the more interesting he is, the more we want to find out about him. If we're given everything, though, I mean... We should know some some bits, but tidbits. The issue here is they obviously want you to know that, okay, it's that actor that is inside the club. But after I saw this, I said, okay, let me go back to the, the, to the first film. You know, that first film will, will probably still end up being the best video game film. And that film wasn't perfect. The film wasn't perfect, but just the kind of... Because you see, the director there was like, look, there are fans of this stuff. And let's try and replicate it the emotions you have with each of the characters because the, the the casting in that film was perfect annihilation was an abomination one of the worst films of all time but the casting on that first film was was money and when you look at 
Scorpion and Sub Zero. Because again, I said, okay, okay, because I can never remember because I know what Scorpion should look, look like. And he's there's a specific look that he has that makes him threatening. You know, it is it's just the fitting of the cloak, the mask, and so forth, the way like that, and boom. The issue here with this is that even when you just see Scorpion says, get over here and everything like that, I didn't feel those same emotions. And that is because just what Scorpion looks like, he just doesn't have the look. And you see, for me, you see, here's the, the thing. He's a great actor. He is a great actor, but I wouldn't cast him for this. I would cast a martial artist. See, what I'd do is I'd be clever. Now, if you want to now do like tidbits of Scorpion's past and everything, I would cast a specific actor. So, yeah, I'd, I'd maybe cast him as... um. Him, yeah, basically, I basically cast him, the ninja of actor, in human form. Talk about a little bit of his past, but then Scorpion himself, I will get a guy who is slim, slick, has like a particular frame, because that is because that frame is important to just the imagery of what Scorpion looks like. And then I'll now cast that guy, say, No, you're a martial, you're just here to do martial arts. And the whole thing is, Come here, get over here, voiceover. I'll do that as a voiceover because that line is so I. Bro, that's one of the most that, that might arguably be the most that might be the most iconic line in video game history. So when a line like that is so important, you can't mess that up. And for me, they didn't for me, you get a voiceover artist to do those lines. So when you hear it, it is delivered to per perfection. You know, look, the Sub Zero guy, yeah. For me, I think the best thing about this trailer was Sub Zero, specifically that move that he pulled on Scorpion. Like I think he basically Pimps him up, his a, 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 a spot of blood comes up, he basically freezes the blood, turns it into an ice pick and boom. Hence why Sub-Zero was always was the guy that I always used. I think on SNES it was back back one. Look, I was a brick at Mortal Kombat, so I, I didn't really play the game that much. I was much more of a, an RPG guy. I'll talk about when I was like when I was in, in Nigeria. This was on basically on SNES. I think I remember it was back back Y for Scorpion's move. And I can't remember what Scott Sub-Zero's move was. I mean, guys, we're talking like 90s. Yeah, we're talking like early mid 90s that, 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 that this game was which is when I really played Monster Combat was SNES. Um so Sub Zero look looks cool but my just um, I, the this visually this looks way better than than, than the first Monster Combat. So this just looks like the, the production level is good. The effects are quality the effects are really good like the effects on Sub Zero are basically the best thing about this is Sub Sub Zero because his effects of his eyes what he looks like, his eyes, and so forth. And you can definitely see that, okay, he's going to be the... I think it's always like he's going to be the main villain of this. And, so, and here, now see, here's my, my thing. Is Sub-Zero the villain? And Because the way they're presenting this trailer is that, are you not going to make Scorpion the hero? And Scorpion is not the hero, and Sub-Zero is the villain? I'm like, no. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are both villains, but they're, but they're both... They both hate each other. Because they both have history. They both have beef. So Scorpion isn't the protagonist. He's he's also he's also messed up. Okay, you can't make please don't make Scorpion the protagonist or the or the good guy, and that's my issue because they showed him in human form. I now could me say, oh Scorpion, yes I empathize. No 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 no. A guy that looks like that ain't no hero. So you've got to make Scorpion and Sub Zero. They have beef. None of them have to be the hero. They have they've got beef. Then maybe the hero can be Liu Kang or Sonya Blade or any of those dudes. But those guys are just a separate entity. Because, guys, I'll keep it real with you. Okay, well, no, because I'm basically like, I'd, I'd probably just make a Muscle Combat film just featuring those two, but oh, you, you need, like, a main heroic thing, which is cool, but let those guys do their thing, because that's going to be the, the bin of this film, man. So, I don't know, man. Tell me your thoughts, man. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, but I have issues you giving something like this to a first-time director. That's problematic, man. Like, Subscribe.